<laughs> it's not about what I can't do, it's about what I can do. In 2006, I think it was, I broke the world record. Cerebral palsy is, is a condition which occurs at or around birth and results in damage to the brain. I don't like to ask him about it. Ben's been injured probably 90% of the time. <laughs> Coming out of Beijing, we had two problems with Ben's foot. We got in contact with them and the whole thing at Loughborough started. But I'm aware the funding has now run out and that's why the project stopped. One of the things that has come from the Loughborough project was the information that was gathered that we've fed back into another foot specialist who has then developed orthotics for Ben. You can tell I've used it quite a lot. <laughs> I know that this teacher did not want Ben in his class. <laughs> <laughs> the Ed psych reacted as if I'd said that we wanted Ben to go to school on Mars. <laughs> so we actually sent him at 10 years old away to board. How I got home that day, I do not know. I had to leave him being physically restrained in the car park and drive off. I felt angry. I was a very angry person when I was younger. When I arrived here, I realised that I didn't have a lot of problems compared with a lot of other people in my class. That, that enabled me to go from being the disabled one in the room, if you like, to being the more able one in the room. That resulted in me having more, more responsibility and more freedom to do what I wanted to do. This place expands like it never planned it out. The people walk, they cannot comprehend the scale. Everything looked good for the summer in regaining his European record, if not the world record. Unfortunately, it didn't quite work out that way. And now um, that's the kneecap in front of us. And there's the hole. Ten weeks from now, we get on the plane to New Zealand. Sounds like a long time, but once you take into account that six weeks of very limited training. When he was doing speed work again, he's lifting heavy. Now it's just a case of making sure that we can get enough work done to make sure that he wins a medal at the World Championships and to put him in as good a position as possible to win two gold medals. that I love about sprint racing is the fact that everything does come down to the tiniest of margins. You do everything possible in your power to do something correctly and you come second by a hundredth of a second, about the same amount of time it takes to blink your eye. Set. It's about being the best that you can be. Okay. Bring on London. <laughs> I'll do my best, you know. <laughs>